Hi guys, so today I want to talk to you about pain and um Hi guys, so today I want to talk to you about pain because I feel like pain is a big part of any person's training even if you don't get injured, pain is just something that is there either when you're stretching or the soreness the second day so yeah, I feel like that's a really important topic to talk about so let's start um, first of all, there can be good and bad kinds of pain a good kind of pain is a pain that you kind of expect after training uh, the soreness or when you're stretching it's normal to feel this stretching painful sensation and it's also a sign that you're stretching the muscle right that you're hitting it at the right angle so that's basically good pain so this good kind of pain it happens as a result of a controlled stimuli uh, either it be a controlled stretching movement or a controlled overload which results in soreness the next day so yeah like I said it's completely normal and it doesn't interfere with the mechanics of the movements that you're doing so when you're stretching and you're going for uh, that stretching feeling in a certain muscle that's what you're going for so it's not gonna make you change the me mechanics of the stretch because you're feeling the stretch you're gonna be like okay this is good feedback uh, I'm stretching the right muscle that's what I want with soreness if you're doing pull-ups one day and then you're sore and the next day you're gonna do some more pull-ups which is not really the optimal training plan but even if you just want to try a couple pull-ups usually the mechanics are gonna be fine even though you're gonna feel sore in your whole upper body, in your bicep, in your upper back you're still not gonna, in most cases, do pull-ups wrong if you know how to do pull-ups okay, then we have the bad kind of pain it's the kind of pain that is persistent it interferes with your day-to-day -day activities for example, if you have um, knee pain and you feel it every time you walk or you go upstairs downstairs when for example i had a shoulder injury and i was feeling it when i would pick some really light thing up weird when i would lie weird when i would drive for example this movement a lot of times it made me feel like a little tingling feeling in the shoulder and that's definitely not the good kind of pain you should figure out what this pain is why it's there what are you doing this should be your priority figure out what is causing the pain um, and of course make a plan of action what to do when you figure out what is causing it so for example um, I in my case, in my personal case, I had lower back pain and I didn't know why. I started training, I thought maybe it's because um, I'm having, like because I'm weak or I don't know, I didn't know anything about training. So yeah, I just had lower back pain and I didn't really know what's going on and I didn't know for more than a year what is causing my back pain. And then once I figured out that it's because it's partly because my hip flexors were really stiff at that point and it was causing me to go anterior in my hips i knew okay my hip flexors are tight this is causing my pain what i can do to relieve that pain is to stretch my hip flexors so after that i never experienced really really bad back pain anymore there was episodes of back pain for a few days but never that extreme and that severe like before i knew what is causing it so that's really really important um for you guys to be able to live a pain-free life to just figure out what is causing the pain so about pain and training you can continue training stuff that doesn't hurt um, because this pain makes you, this bad kind of pain, 
it makes you alter the mechanics of the movement. So for example, if you're having a shoulder problem, it's really possible that when you're gonna do pull-ups, even though you know how to do pull-ups, you're gonna be putting more weight on the other arm or push-ups or whatever. If you're having problems, if you're having pain during those movements, you're gonna most likely be compensating um, with the other arm and that again can cause injury it can even cause you to injure the other arm also so like i said don't push through this kind of pain rest recover and then keep on training anyways in my next video i'm going to be talking about uh, how to prevent injuries because i feel like all of this kind of goes really well together and it's really important for training so stay tuned and see you next time